Next, let's create the mesh. Um, so in project page, double click on the model cell. And that brings up ANSYS Mechanical, where we will mesh the geometry um, and solve for the stresses and displacements. So first, let's take a look at what's the default mesh that uh, ANSYS throws at the geometry. That's always a good idea to do. Um, let's select Zoom to Fit to see the entire geometry. And you may have the uh, ruler turned on. So you may see the ruler, which can be useful to measure distances, but I will um, turn it off here. And highlight um, mesh in the tree. And to see the default mesh, click on Update. And so that gives you the default mesh, and that's uh, quite coarse, actually. So let me refine the mesh. And I'll do that by setting this uh, edge length for, for each element on average. So um, let's so to do that, I like mesh in the tree. And under Mesh Control, select Sizing. OK, and I can, I can set the element size on edges, uh, or I can, I can specify a size for the entire area. So let's do it for the entire area. Make sure the face selection filter here is selected. Click on the area and apply. And to set the element size for the area, uh, what I'll do is I'll say, hey, you know, I uh, let's say I want five elements through this distance here. And that distance is one inch, which is the diameter of the smaller cross section. So I'll say element size is one, that distance one inch over the number of elements I want, which is five. And let's see, let's update the mesh to see what that sizing does and I highlight mesh in the tree and I see that I have a much improved mesh through that face sizing and if I go in here I do so I can zoom in using the right mouse button and I do see one two three four five elements through that distance so it's honored my um, my face sizing so I'll say zoom to fit and I'll save the project